I am so excited. So today is finally the day. I've been waiting for this day. Today is the day that I'm getting a new puppy. I don't think you guys know how excited I am. Currently, right now, I am just waiting for Baz to finish work. He's actually finishing work a little bit early so we can go get this puppy. I took the day off. Essentially, today, all I did was my brother's birthday is tomorrow and he's actually visiting home. So I went last minute and just went out and got a cake. And I guess so today is the day we're getting puppies. Honestly, can't wait till Bass finishes work because then I'll be straight out the door. So it is an hour and a half to get there. So we're driving an hour and a half to Colchester, which is in Essex. And then we're going to head up another hour and a half to my parents. And it's just going to be a wonderful time. I'm going to bring you guys along. I hope you guys enjoy. So as you can tell, it's a lot later than it is. I have the light on because it's actually so dark originally we were meant to go straight after work after after Baz finished work and then what happened was she messaged us the lady that we got her from messaged us saying oh can we come at eight so which was fine and we left in the time that we would, we would arrive at eight however there was so much traffic we were stuck in like what two traffic jams it was two wasn't yeah. it two I forgot the cake yeah oh oh yeah we forgot the cake so we left five minutes in I was like I forgot the cake so we had to come back and go get it I should have just left the cake because the lady that we got her from she's, she's the nicest lady and she goes to bed at half nine so if we were getting that we got that at 9 p.m. or well, just past nine and you know what not to mention that we had an extra delay because the road was closed on one side it just took longer than expected so uh, I feel bad a little bit but we finally got her! She's so small! Oh my god, look at her! She's so cute! Like, literally a little teddy bear. Okay, so we're at a service station right now because Baz really needs to pee. Oh my god, she's biting my finger! She's just literally just been sleeping in my lap. Like, she's so calm and... She smells a little bit like coffee, not gonna lie. Sorry for this weird angle by the way. I kind of put the camera up but there's someone opposite me looking this way. Because I got this light on because it's so dark right now. It's like quarter past ten. And so we're gonna get back quite late. And oh my gosh, she's literally the cutest thing ever. Like when we got there and I first saw her, it was literally such a surprise how small she was. Because I've only ever seen a picture of her. You managed to get her at the end. Look at her, oh my god. She's sleeping. So precious. Damn. Her fur's so soft. It's so fluffy. Mm -hmm. Look at her little short ears as well. Because I have never seen a dog this breed with short ears. Really? No. Mm. <laughs> she and that's just shy at you. And she's so quiet. I mean she just doesn't wake up. Yeah. So still tight, not like yeah. puppy, puppy, right? Like, you know, like, but I don't know about the end, you know, this age. Oh no, so tiny. She's so small. So small. <laughs> In the picture it looks bigger. Bigger. I yeah. thought she was gonna be bigger than this. Yeah. She's tiny. She is.
a week it's been a week and a day if you want to be precise like that we named her peach it was we were stuck between so many different names and i know i'm so indecisive about names so i knew i could i could help compile a list of names but i can't pick the name and in the end my mom thought of peach so we called her peach because she a little peachy on the day that we got her i i barely filmed because i didn't feel much i thought i'd do a little sit down and you know just talk about how we got her and just like the story behind her because first of all point one we thought it was a scam oh no no let me bring it back we thought it was meant to be and they were like it's a scam it it's a scam not meant to be me and my mom we just love browsing we just send each other links of saying like oh this looks so cute this looks so cute not with the intention of buying it but just to give like an idea of just like maybe in the future if we get a dog this dog is cute or this dog is cute and this will just go on like back and forth for a few weeks and we just send each other links it was not until last week i was in wales at this time i just arrived at this place called puzzlewood right i was in the car and my mom sorry about this I got a message from my mom and like I said we always send dog links back and forth but this time dog link with a question of shall I get another dog and like I know I'm kind of like the deciding factor because I know my mom can't do it on her own so I knew I would have to like get the dog, contact me the middleman, contact to the breeder, so collect the puppy and then deliver the puppy to my mom and then also stay here for a few weeks have looking after her as she's a puppy and all that kind of stuff so I was just like yes. My mom called me and was just like Shall we get this dog? To me, I was like, this is kind of sudden. Are you sure this is the correct breed you want? I know we've been sending dog links back and forth. I know you want a small dog, but shall we do like, you know, just a little bit more research because this time we're actually getting the dog. It was a link to this dog, actually. This one was the last one left of her litter and it was... My mom actually sent me a link to her and at that point she was the last of her litter. I forget that dogs go like this, they just vanish because it was all of a sudden. Okay, is this the right breed you want? Are you sure about this dog? Because this dog was readily available to go like now, I could get it the next day, you know what I mean? I was like, so you want the dog, we'll get the dog the next day. So I was just a bit like, do you want to like look around and like see if this is the one you want? And then in the morning if you want it because at this time i wasn't going to contact them anyways because it was like late i think it was like 12 in the morning so you know this lady i don't think she wants me to call in the middle of the night so uh i would contact her right in the morning so i was just like message me in the morning and if you want this one then i will contact the lady in the morning go from there in the morning did not hear from my mom at all mm, let me just check on this link link it was gone <laughs> It was gone. You know what? Not meant to be, you know, because like it was all of a sudden, you know, do we need a dog immediately? No, we could we can find time, spend time researching, looking for a dog. Later on in the day, mom sends me a link to a dog from the same litter that got it. So essentially this family got her sister. So this family got her sister, bought her sister, look after the sister for like a week. Apparently their son or daughter has allergies so they resold it, well reselling it and they resold it for way over the price that they got it and I was literally just like, I know how much you got this puppy. Why are you charging all this money? You shouldn't be in it for the money because you know it's a puppy, like it's a puppy is a puppy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I can't explain it. I'm just giving up right now. This is a second chance. Maybe this, maybe this was the sign. Maybe this is meant to be. Maybe we weren't meant to get that puppy, but we were meant to get the sister. Because we know how much you got this puppy for. We're like, are you willing to lower the price? And they're like, I kind of got blanked. Actually, I did not get blanked. She messaged me, but she messaged me the next day at the end of the day saying, oh, someone's going to view it tomorrow at 6 p.m. And if they don't want it, um, I can lower it a little bit, but not the price that you're asking for, which was the price that they actually got it for. So, you know, whatever. So at that point, let me bring it back. So the next day, before she messaged me that, the advert for this one, we're back up. Excuse me? How? Okay, maybe we we're meant to get that one, but, we, but because this one went back up and we've seen it going back up, 
let's give it a call so me and my mom on the phone and we we're discussing it and we we're just like oh and i was just like uh yeah i'll pick it up oh wait but when what day can i pick it up or this stuff just anything like just the process in our heads we're like we've got this we're just discussing about how we're gonna pick it up what day we're gonna pick it up or like the situations me and my mom just go on and on and to the point where i refresh the page it's gone <laughs> Okay, never mind. <laughs> we lost our chance again because we talked too much on the phone. Out of all, it's because we were just talking too much on the phone. I was like, please tell me why. Let's just keep looking. Then the next day, the next day, this one comes back up. And we're like, why does this one keep coming back and not like being available and then not being available, being available, not being available. Like, tell me what is happening. My mom literally hung up the phone and was just like, just call her. I just ended up calling her and then she, okay. So essentially she said someone was meant to pick her up yesterday, but then didn't come. Do why it was back on the day before that I didn't get it was because someone went and reserved it and just never came to pick it up and basically just changed their mind. Don't you worry, I will pick her up. And she was saying it's not gonna be fair on the puppy if you don't pick her up. So for me, I don't understand the process because last time when I got a dog was when I was 10 years old and back then the process was 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 different. To be honest, I don't know the process because like, do, am I meant to view this puppy? Because I did read the guidelines. On the website, essentially, the guidelines don't put down a deposit for a puppy if you haven't seen it in person or had like some online video call with it. And so I was just like, am I meant to like FaceTime this puppy or like da, 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 whatever, view this puppy first? And then she was just like, to be honest, I'm very busy. So I could do a FaceTime, but that's not gonna be till the end of the day today. And I've got a lot of missed calls. So by the time you have that FaceTime, it's probably gonna be gone. And I was like, um, I'm ready to reserve this puppy. So me and my mom was so excited. We're like, yes, this was meant to be because we were almost got her. We didn't get her, almost got her sister. Didn't get her sister, almost got her again. Was too late, then finally got her. So we're like, meant to. Be. By the way, my mum's on these dog sites like 24-7. She's always like going on and seeing this with any new dogs and all this stuff. So she is on it. 10 minutes later, my mum sends me a link and it's this puppy on another website advertising on there. And the timestamp the advert was published onto the site was 10 minutes after my call. So essentially she sent me a message where to send the deposit money to. And that took like 20 minutes. From the end of my call to her sending me the message for the deposit was 20 minutes and in between then was when the advert was published and we're like <sighs> I sent the money already and then my mom sends me this link and then we're like <sighs> do we just get scammed because she did tell me that she had all these missed calls for the puppy so in my head I'm thinking oh my god gotta reserve this puppy this advert we kept seeing it come back on and then off and then on then not off did we just get scammed Baz ended up calling the number on the other advert. The other advert had a different number. I don't know if it was someone else in the household or something. Never got anyone to pick up and we're like, oh my God, I just want to know more information. You know what? It was not even until the actual day of was when I was, when I was actually believing that I'm getting this puppy. But I don't know, they ended up taking down that advert at the end of that day. On the Friday, we got her. It was the quickest process ever because it was only Sunday where we decided, yeah, let's get another dog, you know? And then on the Tuesday when I called and then on the Friday we picked her up. Anyways, that's the story of how we got her. In my head, it sounded a lot more interesting. Now that I've said it out loud, I feel like this story might have been a bit boring. Happily dreaming because I can feel her moving her legs as you can see so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll keep you updated with her and yeah bye <laughs>